All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Let's see if we can catch some fish today. I saw some markings on my board, or hoping it's bait. This bait has been hard to find today. Where do you want to try fishing? Uh, Yeah, we could pull some dead and we mark something, jig it up. How about the little Greg, real hazardous? Go ahead. You had any luck yet? We got a late start. We're about to get some gas and head out there. Four. Yeah, I mean, found nothing. I ain't heard nothing good uh, to the south, anyways. 10 4, keep me updated. Will do. Alright, guys, I think we, we're hooked up. We got us a nice seagull on the line. See pliers. You ready? Yeah. Catch and release. Catch and release bird. Are you ready? No, no fashion way, huh? That's just it, too, huh? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, here he comes. There you go. A lot better job with the gas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so I was just... <laughs> We have one bird and one kingfish so far. Yeah, we got a bird and a kingfish today. I was just um, trolling to the next spot in between spots with dead bait because we haven't been able to find live bait. And this guy just, he hit it pretty hard, ran pretty hard. A dead cigar minnow, just on a regular kingfish rig. Yeah. Neutral. Let the bait sink down. So had to reel like crazy. They made that run to the boat, didn't they? Yeah. I think that's what a lot of new anglers mess up on. They're like, oh, he's off, and they let it go slack. See leader yet? No, but it's got to be. Oh, yeah, I see a fish. Just a kingfish? Yeah, it's pretty clear water. Nice. Not bad fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Ready? Yeah. I don't think he's ready to get a... The fish will look like 15 or so. Yeah. And my buddy Shark gets him, huh? You ready? You coming up? Just bare ladder Oh! Dang! Pull him back over here. Good night. Good fish there now. Oh, nice. See what they've both been on? This is a little skirt, purple skirt. Look how fat he is, though. One on the drop down, but both on the purple, huh? Yep. So old school seems to be working pretty good. So that was right on the spot. We just put it in breeze, uh, just uh, neutral. Let the bait <clears throat> drop down while you were looking, uh, trying to jig some stuff, and boom. Good fish hit it. Dead. Now. Okay guys, so we hit uh, some wrecks, some ledges in this area with dead bait, and we did really well. It's a nice fish, better than uh, last couple weeks. Better than Thursday where it was dead slow. Yeah. 
But uh, we're gonna go to another place, try out old Dunn's Run, and a little farther offshore. Yeah, see what happens. Okay, at Dunn's Run, I'm gonna put out the baits and see what happens. Bring them up, a little chin weight. Keep them straight. Yeah, keep them straight. Seems to be swimming nice. So this is how they used to troll for kingfish. Yep. They uh, well, you, I mean, Ballyhoo was the thing back in the day. Nobody, I think the uh, people from Carolina brought down the uh, um, live bait fishing technique, mm -hmm. and then uh, it caught on and it did real good. When did you start trolling for kings? Well, not long after that. Back in the day, we didn't have you know you didn't have all these fancy live wells and all. Well, what was what was that? When was that? When when was back in the day? Well, let's see, eighty mid eighties. Mid eighties, okay. And they started converting garbage cans into live wells. Yeah. He had to rig it up a couple of different ways. You had to have a live well bait pump you would drop out, and then another one to when you're running. This is the same way y'all would troll the dead baits, dead cigars, or dead. Troll them either we drift them, Dude. just pull up over the. Uh, upwind of the ledge mm -hmm. and then just set three lines out to get the boat sideways mm -hmm. and uh, usually there'll be three of us each person will hold his rod and boom we didn't put them in the rod holders or nothing yeah i heard one story uh i think chris told us or something i don't remember who told us this story but um these guys ran a tournament and so uh kingfish tournament and they went and they were, they were gonna go out and catch live bait and troll the beach. And they're gonna run like all the way down like Canaveral. Yeah. I don't know, something was like 90 mile or some crazy run down the beach. But their, their buddy who usually goes with them and fishes, he throws the cast net, was like sick or something, caught out last minute. So they, they get on the water and realize no one knows how to throw a net. He was the only one. Yeah. So they kept trying to like, Figured it, figured it out. Finally, they got on the bow, and like all three of them took like a chunk of net and just kind of like threw it. Yeah. And they caught three pogies. And it was like, man, we gotta, we gotta do something. So they ended up running 90 miles or whatever. The three pogies. The three pogies. <laughs> and they ended up catching like a, a good fish. Won them some money. I don't know, maybe second or third place. That's still one fish for <laughs> 90 miles. Uh, three baits three. on 90 miles. I don't know. You gotta make it count. Shoot, one get, jumps out of your hand into the water and you, you're about ready to... <laughs> You see that you have three baits and someone slips, falls in the water, and you're like, that guy. So we're about a mile from the... We're about a mile from the spot. My dad says he sees a manta ray. Let's we'll see if we can come back on it. It's cruising, cruising along. That'd be great if there's a Kobe or something on it. I actually got stuff on the bottom. It's a ledge right there. It's a new spot. Yeah, I mean, we can try it. I mean, see what's here. I mean, I've never, I don't have any markings near here. Hey, you got me now. Oh, I got you. Uh, okay. You guys in that tournament? No, sir, just fun fishing. Did you ever find any bait on the beach? <laughs> no, sir, uh, we just uh, pulling dead, um, dead cigar minnows. Yeah, we just, we had the dead bait and we just stopped and let the dead bait kind of drop down and boom, a pretty decent kingfish hit it. I'm glad to hear somebody's doing something. We only need one or two, but that'll be a good day for us. 10 4. I think they're here. I guess they're just scattered with, with all the lack of bait or something. Yeah, I think so. No bait, no fish. Let me get that uh, down where you're up. Yeah. Kind of lethargic, though. Maybe a snapper. Mm, getting a little bit more of a shoulder now. Coming up, coming up. Which way, uh, is, it? is, it is that a cobia cobia more or a little cobia? Hold it. Hold it. A little cobia? I can't tell. There you go. Might be a little cobia. 
Little Cobia. Yep. Yeah. Little baby Watch Cobia. The... It would be nice if his buddies come out with him, wouldn't it? Hey, there's another one right here, Jeremy. Bigger one? No. I mean, he'd be fun to catch. Reel this one in right here. Put that in there behind him. Now let him dra grab it. You got the bait? Yeah. Yeah. Give him a second to eat it. Got him on? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you let go? He's right back here. Okay. Right. Right back down. Right there where you at. Here he comes. He's coming back again. There he goes. You got it. You got it. You got it. Now. Okay. Fish on double, double header cobs. <laughs> yeah. Little guy got him hooked. You ready? A little cobia. That's cool. We've had uh, no big ones, but three cobia this year. Catcher's in. Almost. Grab him. Like there we go. Twin. Not quite big enough to keep them, fortunately, but they were pretty fun to catch. It was nice when the doubles come up and you can kind of sight cast. Yeah, you know, just kind of faking them out. Like I didn't just sit here, eat it, and then just like throw fish at them. I kind of teased them. I kind of took it away. You know, make him think he couldn't have it. And then pulled it, and he was one. He was chasing it faster, and then I could, right when he came up, like he hit it or just was ready to bite, and just kind of let it back. He ate it first time. He had it very good, so when I pulled it, it popped right out. But let him back have it, gave him a chance to eat it, and then could kind of come tight, which would set the hook. One thing interesting about today was, um, you know, it was hard to get bait. Uh, I think if you guys finally found some some pogies on the beach, but uh, hard to get, hard to jig offshore. It's a good thing we had dead bait, and the water was really clear. I mean, I was looking down, seeing the space, was like, wow, this is way clearer than it's been uh, so far this year. So I think that hurts you too because uh, the fish can see better, and they can see your terminal tackle, they can see the dead bait, see that it's not alive, stuff like that. Otherwise, I mean. You know, pretty happy. Those fish were bigger. That was cool. Uh, the fish were bigger than they had been this season, uh, noticeably. So, I think the one we got was 15 or so pounds. The others we got last time were like little snakes, you know, five, seven, eight pounds or something like that. So, it was cool. It was nice to get some bigger ones. Had fun trying, get out in the water. Found some new spots. Uh, just come in, we saw a sea turtle. I'm like, let's slow down and look. And it was a live bottom area I've never marked before. And the other time, uh, we saw some balloons about a mile away. I was like, well, that's, we didn't know what they were. We saw something, we got close, saw they were balloons. I looked down at my depth before, I was like, oh, a ledge. So I marked that. So, you know, that's a, that's a big win, you know. You can't always slay fish, but if you um, <clears throat> learn and observe and get some new spots, this might pay off in snapper season being away from the crowds. So don't forget to key out, keep an eye out for stuff like that. Spade fish, turtles. Amberjack, they all like to hang over, you know, ledges and wrecks and stuff like that. Well, thanks for watching today's video, guys. You guys learned a few things. Uh, it's pretty neat uh, rigging up kind of, you know, the dead cigar minnows and catching kingfish on that kind of old school. Water was really clear. Uh, we had those two cobia, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below uh, about what you're doing, what you're using, stuff like that. Just let me know and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.